Well, guys, it is New Year's Eve, and I wanted to reach out on this New Year's Eve of 2020. I actually was going to wait and do this message the first Sunday of the year, but the Lord pushed me today, and he wanted me to share this message with you today. So as we conclude 2020, for each one of my singers, I want you to, to think about this year. I want you to think about how far God has brought you this year. And on this channel, for some of my faithful followers and singers, you know that we talk about a variety of things on this channel. From, from inspiration to motivation to spirituality to the law of, the traction, of attraction, which is spoken throughout the word of God, to setting goals and life, life situations and circumstances, but we always reflect the good. But on this day, I figure that we could just take it back to the original setting for the channel before God began to just expand my consciousness for me to share a lot with you. So on this New Year's Eve, almost at sunset on New Year's Eve today, I want to reach out to let you know that the Lord told me to tell you that it's time for you to say goodbye to the tomb. It's time for you to say goodbye to the tomb of 2020. The Lord touched my mind to tell me, to tell you that it's time for you to come out of the tomb. He wanted me to let you know that he has heard your cries and that he actually has heard your some of your pleas. He's heard your request, but he wanted me to reach out to tell you prophetically today that you have been asleep and that he allowed you to receive a year of rest to incubate in the tomb, to incubate in his presence. But just like Jesus told Lazarus, come out, the Lord touched my heart and mine to let me know, for, for me to tell you that it's time for you to come out of the tomb. It's time for you to take off the grave clothes. It's time for you to wake up in your consciousness. God allowed you a season of rest to incubate in his presence, to break away some of the old habits that you have, to break away the generational curses that's in the bloodline, to break away all of the cast that's on your mind and spirit so that you could elevate, so that you can meet him in heavenly places and allow his presence to penetrate you so that it a touch down on earth. And so as we talk just a little bit today, I want to go to the word of God. God touched me about the story of Lazarus. And we're going to jump off here at John 11. And uh, the verses that I'm coming from will be John 11, verse 4, all the way through verse 44. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'll, I'll paraphrase it a little bit. I've been kind of studying this for a while. I've heard it so many times, but it just hit different this year. It just it hit a little bit different this year, primarily because a lot of us have experienced something that we've never experienced before in our lifetime. A lot of us have lost the security blanket of our lives. We've lost men in our family, women in our family. Some of us have lost, you know, family members, our moms, our dad. Our, our, our world has been turned upside down this year, but it's all a part 
of a new thing that God is doing. You, If you lost somebody, they came as far as they God wanted them to, to instill in you all the things that you needed to learn from them. They're elevated in a whole nother dimension, but they left a residue of everything that they taught you. And as God allowed you to incubate in the tomb, it's a lot of things that you learned this year. And so just like when Martha and Mary went to Jesus to, to let him know that Lazarus was sick and that he was dying, when Jesus heard the news, he was confident that God was going to deliver Lazarus. It wasn't a doubt. And as you could probably imagine to someone as close to Jesus as those two women were to him, they may have felt in their heart that he didn't care. And a lot of you today may feel in your heart that God doesn't care about you because of some of the things that you have gone through this year. But in every trial, in every tribulation, it is an opportunity for God not only to break something out of your flesh and out of your spirit, but it's an opportunity for him to get the glory in your story. And so Jesus knew this and allowed Lazarus to sit there an additional two days. And as you may know, people around him, they were talking, the disciples were talking, the Jews were talking, everybody was giving this lip service. And some of you are going through some changes in your life and the people around you are giving you some lip service on what you should and what you should not do and what you need to do more of and what you need to do less of. And you need to move out and you need to go in this direction where you need to quit this. So you need to go into this direction. But just like Jesus was, you have to know that you know what God told you as you laid in the tomb this year, as you laid in the tomb this year. He allowed you to enter into a state of stillness, almost like a caterpillar when they enter into a chrysalis. See, when you're entering into almost a state of death, that's a very fragile state that you enter into. And, and actually, if you come out too soon, uh, it, could, it could break you. you. You would go back and probably be worse than you were before you entered the tomb. And so... Jesus knew this. He allowed Lazarus to stay there two additional days in spite of the lip service, in spite of the questions, and even in spite of Mary's doubt. But what I loved about Martha in the story is she knew that what she knew about Jesus and his ministry, she knew that he was called. She knew that he was the son of God and she had confidence in him up into death. And I just want to reach out to somebody today. You have lost some things this year. You have even lost loved ones to death. But just like Martha, I want to challenge you today to trust God. Death doesn't exist when you know Jesus Christ. He took the sting out of death and Martha recognized this, but yet on the contrast, on the opposite end, Mary was a little frustrated. She felt like if he had gotten there earlier, he would have lived. But what was so miraculous about my savior and what's so wonderful about him, he's just so relentless that it blows my mind every time I can't help but fall more and more in love with Jesus as I read the stories and his ministry. He thanked God for raising him from the dead before he got there. And he actually looked at the people that were saying that he was dead and told him, no, he wasn't dead. He just had fallen asleep. And he went on to elaborate just a little bit further with his disciples to let them know, yeah, he was dead, but he was going to be raised. And so he thanked him in advance for the blessing. And a lot of you need to go ahead and thank God in advance for your blessing. A lot of you are in a dead situation right now because you're still in that tomb mentality. But I challenge you going into the year of 2021, the year of the leap. I, I challenge you to leap into your destiny. I challenge you to hear the voice of Jesus say to you, Lazarus, come out of the tomb. I challenge you to hear God tell you, come out of that circumstance. I challenge you to hear God tell you, come out of that situation. 
I challenge you to hear God tell you, come out of depression, come out of anxiety, come out of lust, come out of addiction, come out of poverty mindset and leap into your 2021 destiny. See, the tomb had to happen because the tomb was a place of ministry for you. The tomb was a place for you to break loose of the old fleshly habits that you had prior to entering into 2020, 2020. The tomb was a place for you to get a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with the one who created you, not a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with who was going to be the president of the United States of America, not a one-on-one -on -one mentorship of who was going to come up with the COVID-19 vaccination, not a one-on-one -on -one mentorship of somebody to come in and rescue you of your affliction. Not a one-on-one -on -one mentorship of someone to come in and rescue you from a broken heart, but a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with the living God. And as you reflect this year, I want to say to you that a lot of you are in some situations that to other people, it stinks. Just like Lazarus laid there so long that his flesh began to stink. And a lot of people are gossiping and backbiting and saying some very disruptive things about you because they feel that you're dead. But I challenge you to hear the voice of God say to you today that it's time for you to get up and come out. It's time for you to remove the grave clothes off of your body. And it's time for you to walk in a robe of righteousness. You know, I put my robe of righteousness on today for y'all, not for show, but to let you know that I've been redeemed. You know, the old Shonda doesn't exist anymore because I know that I have been redeemed. I know that I have gotten recharged. I know that I've gotten a rejuvenation. I know that I have gotten a restart, a reboot. And I know that I have shedded the old person that I used to be and that I am walking in the season of the leap. So I want to challenge you as the sun goes down for the last time in the year of the perfect 2020 vision, I want to challenge you for the year 2021 that before midnight tonight, I want you to fall down on your knees or stand there or just get into your mind center. And I want you to thank God for everything that he has done for you. Regardless to if you've been through hell or high water or not, regardless to if you lost everything or not, regardless to if you lost loved ones or not, you are still here because there is a purpose for your life that's important for somebody. And I want you to give him thanks. And I want you to thank him for an opportunity to lie still in the tomb to even get in situations that was kind of like stinky situations that pushed you into an area that you never imagined that you would be in. Some of you are without friends that you've lost this year. Some of you are without your parents that you lost this year. What a vulnerable place to be, but a perfect place for you, for you to be. For you to fully know that God is a redeemer. That you know that your loved ones are good. For you to allow God to move the stone away from the tomb. For you to walk out a new man, a new woman, a new young adult, a new child. For you to strip away the old identity of who you used to be. And marvel in the glory of what's left standing beneath the grave clothes. And as you enter into the year of the leap, I want you to be confident this year. Because all the dead things, the dead mindsets, the dead finances, the dead relationships, the dead parenting, the dead energies, the dead environments are gone so that you could give birth to something new. 
a new foundation, a new mindset, a new relationship with God, a new relationship with your parents, knowing to depend on God, not man, knowing to make him the center of your joy. It's new. It's the year of the leap. God is doing a new thing. So I want you to come out of feeling sorry for yourself because that's, that's the old garment of death on top of you. I want you to come out of the garment of limitations because that's the old death garments talking to you. I want you to come out of the garment of looking for others to set you free. Because the who the sun sets free is free indeed. That's the old deaf garments talking to you. I want you to come out of the garment for looking for other people to feed you. When you know that you have a father that knows your need and you will never hunger or thirst again. That's deaf. The rags of death talking to you. I want you to come out of playing a victim with a victim mentality. Take that garment of death off of your off of your body. I want you to come out of being mediocre. Take that garment off. Come out of poverty. Take that garment off. Come out of caring about other people's perception of you. Take that rag of death off of you and leap. I want you to go into 2021 in a leap type of a situation. Yeah. I want you to leap to a new dream. I want you to leap to a real you. Leap into a corporation. Leap into a legacy. Leap into being a better parent. Leap into being a better son or daughter. Leap into being a better husband or a better wife or a better friend or a better pastor or a better leader. Leap into this year with power knowing that you have had a year to fully experience the tomb. And everything that the tomb represented for you to be set free. Because it's the year of the leap. It's the year for you to fully believe that God can give you the power to pull things into this year, this coming year. Some unseen miraculous activity. Because you have gotten a supernatural reboot. The planets lined up for you. They haven't done it since the time of Christ to give a spiritual recharge to the environment around here. It's a new thing that God is doing. And I am so excited. And I am so excited. So I want to say to you, as we conclude this year, that it's one to go down in the record books. And I want to say to you that it's time for you to come out of that tomb. It's time for you to let go of those deadly rags, the, the grave clothes, it's time for you to put on your, your robe of righteousness, which is the word of God. And it's time for you to take a leap into a new beginning. And as you know, I love you guys. I love you so very much. And I thank God for you. And I know that it's so much that he's going to do in your life. Because this is your 2021, baby. The year of the leap. Mm-hmm. Peace. To God be the glory. Bye now.